This is so great. Look at the view. It's very nice. Very relaxing. Look, the bird. It's flying. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Superman. See? Who's coming by? Who? Oh, Sylvia! Oh, yeah. It's nice to see you. Do you know what? Sylvia, our classmates in Virgin Class 84? Yeah! Well, 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 Caramel! Fresh vanilla? Yeah! Hello! Where Hi. have you been? I just arrived from China! Oh, what did you do there in China? I'm teaching there! It seems like you're doing this in China. How's your teaching? Yeah, China is really great! Especially in terms of teaching. They are equipped with the latest technology. Oh. How would you compare the technology in Chinese classroom to the, to the ones we have here in the Philippines? For me, China is more advanced compared to the Philippines, and the Chinese government has a greater support on training the teacher in the use of up-to-date equipment. Mm. So how's the Philippines? Mm. Well, we have also a share of development in terms of educational technology. Some schools are adapted to the use of technology in teaching. Wow. In our school, some classrooms are provided with projectors. Wow, good to hear that! Yeah. Well, why don't we take a lunch together so that we can talk better? Yeah, oh, sure! Okay. Let's, Let's go. go! That would serve as our opening salvo for this presentation. I never thought my groupmates could be such good actors and actresses. I salute you guys. The objective of this presentation is to compare educational technologies of two countries, particularly Philippines and China. To make a comparison is not a simple endeavor, because to make it reliable, sound, and fair, we need to do a lot of research, gather statistical data, carry out ocular inspection, interview, documentation, and many more. With serious time constraints and technical limitations, this is the best we can do. We obtained our statistical data from a document by the UNESCO Institute of Statistics entitled Information and Communication Technology in Asia 2014. This provided statistical basis on how Philippines compares with its Asian neighbors in terms of ICT. Another is a review paper by Maria Mercedes Rodrigo of the Ateneo de Manila University entitled Information and Communication Technology Use in Philippine Public and Private Schools. This provided a very good evaluation of the status of Philippine EdTech. A website of the University of Singapore gave a comprehensive discussion regarding educational technology in China. China's Lesson, an article that describes a UK research which presents different points of view regarding the effectiveness of traditional teaching. So we start with slides showing UNESCO statistics. This will be followed by images of some classrooms belonging to top 100 secondary schools both in China and the Philippines. Lastly, our final analysis. So, take it away. This slide shows a table where computer-related curricula are being implemented in various countries. More than 50% of the countries in the current data collection have integrated objectives or a course on basic computer skills. The Philippines began to put emphasis on computer skills in the secondary level and upper secondary level but none in the primary level. In China, computer skills are emphasized in all three levels. This slide shows proportion of educational institution with basic electrical and telecommunication infrastructure. Telecom here means landline and does not include personal telephones. Electricity and telecommunication are supporting elements for the implementation of ICT. China is 100% compliant in both electricity and telecom, while the Philippines lags behind drastically in terms of telecommunication facilities. 
Figure 3 shows the learner to computer ratio by levels of education in 2012. What's very obviously shown here is the greatly overstretched computer resources in the Philippines, particularly in the primary level with 412 students per computer, while in China it is only 24 is to 1. This table gives the proportion of educational institution with internet connection, fixed broadband, and internet-assisted instruction. Hong Kong, China is 100% compliant in all three, while in the Philippines, only 7% in the primary and 40% in the secondary have internet connections. This chart shows the proportion of primary and secondary teachers who are ICT qualified and trained to teach basic computer skills versus proportion of teachers who are currently teaching. In China, 40% are trained. In the Philippines, only 2%. We came across this study entitled Information and Communication Technology Use in Philippine Public and Private Schools by Maria Mercedes Rodrigo of the Ateneo University. This study uh, gave a very comprehensive picture of the state of ICT in the Philippines. It concludes developing countries such as the Philippines are committed to infusing schools with ICT. There is great faith that these technologies will improve teaching and learning and consequently afford these countries a greater stake in today's knowledge society. Consequently, the Philippine government and the private sector have initiated programs to provide schools with computer hardware and software internet connectivity, and teacher training. However, considerable gap still exists in ICT program implementations. There is a lack of data on schools' use of ICT. Hence, there is little basis for policy formulation. There is a lack of coordination between public and private sector resources. Finally, there is a need for further teacher training in both computer literacy and ICT integration in the curriculum. These gaps must be sufficiently addressed before ICT can have a significant impact on teaching and learning in Philippine schools. Educational technology in China started to develop in 1978. A big leap in the progress of educational technology took place in 1997 when the Ministry of Education selected 1,000 schools as the, as the experimental schools for modern educational technology. These schools are aimed to take good advantage of modern educational technology to reform the fundamental education. It turned out that the overall qualities of education in primary and secondary schools are very satisfactory. Nowadays, computer has become the supplementary teaching equipment for many schools in urban areas of China. Multimedia computers and campus network 
have been installed in most of the universities, colleges, and high schools in We came across this UK report entitled, China's Lesson, Why the West Was Wrong to Abandon Chalk and Talk Teaching Method. This is an eye-opener to all of us. It tells about how China favors the chalk and talk approach, which is being phased out by the Western countries. It seems that this traditional approach is more effective as evidenced by China's Finally, we end this presentation with a simple diagram to show the comparison of EdTech ICT Philippines against China. The arrow that curves up represents the Philippines' effort to put in all the necessary elements to, to fully implement ICT. The arrow curving down represents China's ICT being already placed, but they are moving towards going back to traditional